hello, 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 and welcome to It's All Good. I'm your host, Latavia, and back for another episode. I'm going to be honest, this week has been long already, and we're only halfway through, or not even fully halfway through, but um, even though it's been long, it has been rewarding. It's been a kind of a I don't want to say roller coaster, but I've definitely, it's been a, a, a big range of emotions, even for just the first part of the week. But nevertheless, I am grateful. And today I am grateful for connections. Um, the connections that I've been able to make over the last, I would say over the course of my life, but definitely just over these last two years, um, the uh, people that I've been able to meet through just random connections coincidence i'm not even sure how to fully describe it but they have been big game changers is is probably the best way that i could describe it but i'm grateful nonetheless and i am equally excited as overwhelmed about um the opportunities that will continue to come from these connections that I've made Uh, and so yeah like I said connections is what I'm grateful for and part of that um, one of the ones that I've had recently kind of the I would say the byproduct of that is because of someone that I met from a standpoint of from business has also been beneficial personally Uh, as I shared some episodes back I was able to purchase a house last year and my realtor was very instrumental in that. And out of that, uh, you know, her serving as my realtor, that blossomed into a friendship. And so we've been able to help each other in various aspects of life. Um, And then more recently, like I said, someone that I was able to connect to on a business tip has also has in turn connected me to other business uh, owners or other professionals in various industries and not even on the standpoint of oh I'm trying to get clients but just a matter of the the opportunity to connect and uplift and encourage one another uh, has been very beneficial which kind of brings me to what I wanted to talk to talk about this week Uh, a very special friend of mine gave me I had this book last year, Acts of Faith, um, which is Daily Meditations for People of Color by Iyanla. Uh, and I think it came out several years ago, um, but I was unaware of it. And so it's one of the things that I have, I'll be honest, it's not every day. I've been trying to get better, but it says it's daily, um, daily meditation. So I have been trying to incorporate this into my kind of daily quiet time and and journaling time and so the meditation for uh february 22nd resonated with me a bit more than others and so i'm not going to read all of it but if you are not familiar i definitely encourage you to look up acts of faith i think there's uh you can get it digitally or the physical copy i'm not sure how many more of those there are but nevertheless Um, This one, it starts off with a quote from Nikki Giovanni. It says, deal with yourself as an individual worthy of respect and make everyone else deal with you the same way. Now, this resonated with me on multiple levels because for one, it's about talking about respect. Uh, And one of the things that I'm constantly working on or being conscious of is my self-talk and the way that I'm talking to myself about myself and giving myself grace in terms of the not being where you know quote unquote the shoulds of life and in doing that is showing myself grace but also showing and extending grace to others and so it's it makes me think of the the saying of you know how can you love someone if you don't love yourself and you, so you have to get to know yourself and be comfortable with yourself. And some of the conversations I've been having, uh, both personally and professionally, one of the things that constantly comes up is know your worth. And 
charge what you're worth, um, demand, you know, essentially demand respect of yourself and in turn require others to respect you, respect your time. And I, can't, I keep thinking or hearing uh, Fat Joe's yesterday's price is not today's price. You know, the price went up. And I think it's easy to get caught up in the monetary aspect of it. But beyond, you know, a specific price, it's how do, what do I value or how do I see myself and what am I doing to put boundaries in place to, so that I honor myself and as well as requiring others to honor my space, my time, my body. Um, and so one of the things, or I'm just going to read a little bit more in terms of what it says from the excerpt is that many of us live from day to day without a real sense of purpose. We know what we want. We know we want more out of life, but we can't seem to put a finger on exactly what it is. We believe our fate is due to a lack of career money or the freedom to do what we want. And actually what we may be longing for is a personal mission. And it goes on to say more, but at the end, it kind of gives a kind of an affirmation for the day. And it says, I am a, I am mission minded and focused on a goal. And I like how, for one, it's short and sweet and to the point, but it's still powerful. And so that personal mission, you know, kind of that, what is my purpose? Why am I here? Which for me calls back to learning to be content and not complacent um, or knowing the difference between being content and complacent and so it's we I think we all at some point or another have thought or felt like we weren't you know just like hey something's missing I'm, I want more but I don't necessarily know how to get more and we think that, oh, if I get a different job, if I move this place, if I make more money, if I, if I stop eating, <laughs> if I stop drinking, if I stop eating sugar, if I stop doing this, or we, we think of all of these external variables that we try to change and adjust. And if your experience has been anything like mine, <laughs> more often than not, Changing these external variables does not change the internal feeling or outlook. And I was listening to uh, Mary J. Blige's interview on The Breakfast Club last week, and she was talking about the Super Bowl performance as well as her new album and just in terms of kind of how she came up with the name uh, Good Morning Gorgeous in terms of how a lot of the, sh the personal... Um, essentially kind of just the devastation of the fallout of her marriage and all of the things that came from that and how that it wasn't until kind of in that point or that season of her life that she really took the time to kind of look within and focus on herself in terms of truly learning to love herself and see the and see her own value regardless of what others said or thought about her and it's in listening to her talk, especially, I think she's 50 now, looks great by the way, and can still move better than, I would say, people in their 20s and 30s, um, myself included on certain days. But it was refreshing to hear her share, just one, the, the, the level of vulnerability that she had in terms of sharing her story and her experience. And kind of shocking to hear that oh she's been you know she's 50 or she was in her 40s and for her to you know kind of realize that she had never truly taken the time to just like hey this is me I love me as I am regardless uh and so it was kind of like surprising to hear that but at the same time it was refreshing and encouraging to know that okay it's like another reminder of even though I'm in my 30s, I don't have to have it all figured out because 34, what, what I, how I viewed 34 when I was 12 or even 20 
34 meant, oh yes, I am settled and establishing a career. I got, I'm making great money. I'm, I'm married, got children. It just, I had to figure, you know, it, it seemed so much older and like there was so much more figured out than what I realized now being here is, hold up. I have figured quite a few things out. I can, on most days, I'm pretty confident in saying yes. I'm handling this adulting thing. I'm 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 doing it. Uh, but there's also quite a few days where I am sitting there thinking, I don't know that I'm supposed to be here. I don't know if I'm old enough for this. What is this? There are moments that I have this, but I digress. Kind of going back to the the meditation that I started with is thinking about what is my personal mission or for those of you listening you know what is your personal mission and and what <laughs> it feels silly sometimes saying it out loud but what brings you joy what are you passionate about um what are you know they say what is that thing that you would do even if you weren't getting paid for it or just what brings you joy and it may not even be from a standpoint of an occupation and i think our american society culture is definitely task driven and we have you know you gotta what are you doing what do you do for a living how are you making money how much money do you make what do you it's all about the kind of the physical and uh, monetary accomplishments but we're not always going to get fulfillment from our occupation or vocation. And I know when there, I was in a point where I was working a job that I always like to say the, the <laughs> grace has pa had passed uh, and I was no longer enjoying it or fulfilled. It was what helped me kind of stay focused and sustained, sustained while still in that position was there were things that I was doing outside of work, um, volunteering and serving at my church, doing things within the community, helping others, uh, spending time with friends and family, finding ways to fill my cup, fill my, you know, essentially so that I was not empty when it was time to go to work and reminding myself that this is a job, this is not my life. And being intentional about how I viewed that as well as how I viewed and defined success for myself. Um, because for a very long time, I saw success as the job or title that I held, the amount of money that I made, whether or not I was able to travel and do all these different things. And don't get me wrong, I still enjoy traveling and <laughs> want to be able to have a surplus at the end of every month. But that in and of itself is not success to me because even in, you know, there have, there have been moments where, yes, all the bills are paid, there's excess, I can do essentially kind of what I want without really stressing about where money's coming from. But there were still times where I felt, I don't want to say empty, but unfulfilled. And so it's, I would say that was definitely kind of a turning point for me of, well, all the things that you thought would make stuff better are happening and you still don't feel much different. And so it was like, okay, I tried changing the external things. I've done all that I know how to do externally. So maybe let's well, you know, like, let's look inward, let's do the do the work. And so that is what I've been doing these last few years is doing the work, getting to know me and, and thinking, and like I said, I think I say this probably every episode, if not every other, learning to embrace the process and the fact that the timeline that I created when I was in high school, college, even in my early 20s, like those milestones or these deadlines that I created consciously and unconsciously, 
We're just that made up. It's not set in stone. There is nothing or anyone that says that I have to do certain things by a certain time or that if I haven't done something by a certain time that I'm less than or that I've messed up, I am still very much worthy of all of the things that I desire and that I know are coming to me. And I would say the same to you. Whatever it is that you feel as though because you haven't accomplished or you haven't done or you're still trying to figure something out that there's something wrong with you. It's not, it's just not that it has not been the time yet. As much as I struggle with it or kind of wrestle with the concept of it quite often, I do believe that everything happens for a reason and that there is a, a time for everything and everything happens in due time in due season I don't like due because there is no date on due but I can comp- I can yes I can say with confidence that every situation that I've been in every time I was wondering how where am I gonna get through this what's gonna happen it worked out and as my hat says but god because there were several times where i'm like "Mm, i don't think it's gonna happen i don't know how but god showed up at the when i say the exact precise time needed second whatever god comes through and everything has worked out oftentimes not in a way that i i saw coming or i anticipated but it has all worked out So I encourage you that whatever it is that you are struggling with or thinking about, just remember the, there are things that we can do to change our external circumstances, but in doing that, don't get so caught up on trying to change all, just putting all of the focus or emphasis on the external things because we have to look within and figure out what, you know, are we doing, why are you doing this? Is it because you want to do it? Is it because there's something in you that says you should? Or if you're like me, you always did what you were supposed to do or should do. And uh, one of my old pastors, I used to say, don't should yourself because doing that put you into a box that you oftentimes don't even realize that you're in until you've like essentially locked yourself in it and I I, for me it was kind of a realization I guess the visual that I had in a dream once was almost as though I was in a a cage or a prison cell and the door had been opened it had been unlocked and opened nothing was requiring me to continue to stay in it except for myself and I think that's where you know they say the the mind is a battlefield of the thoughts that we have and we have to you know take captive shoot down negative thoughts and and be mindful of what we're saying but like in the in the dream that I had it was like I was literally sitting in this cage feeling as though I had to stay and that there was something or someone was preventing me from moving about and making decisions and doing things freely. But in the dream, I realized, hold up, there's nothing keeping you here other than you. You are free to walk out. So walk out, or as Nike says, just do it. Uh, so whatever that is for you, I encourage you to take some time and think about it and to move forward being mission-minded and focus on a goal so remember that regardless of what it looks like or feels like it is all going to work out for your good in the end because life is a journey and not a destination thank you for listening and until next time